What is going on guys? My name is Fernando Herrera and today we're going to be talking about what are the essential things you need to start a shop. Now a lot of you guys have seen some of my videos and I've been getting a lot of questions from people wondering or just uh, kind of asking themselves what are the things I need if I want to start a tire shop? Just a straightforward video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you just the essentials, the things that you must have and so without further ado, let's go ahead and start. Now, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. And in this video specifically, I'm gonna be showing you guys a, a small shop that I just opened up with a, another partner, another two partners. And so I, I think it's kind of good because this shop's still missing a lot of things, but this shop is operational, which means uh, we can install tires, we can balance them. Uh, but you know, there's still some things that we're missing. We can't do alignments. We can't do big jobs like brakes or mechanical work. This shop is only for tires and small tires, no commercial tires, no nothing. Uh, so I'm gonna be sharing some tips along the video, some mistakes, some rookie mistakes that we did uh, that hopefully you won't make. And uh, again, without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So the first point might be a bit obvious guys, but the first thing you need is a location. I mean. I'm gonna walk you guys here outside just so you guys can see the location that we got. We're in the middle of a kind of busy street and so this used to be a dealership but the first thing that we want is a location. You know if you don't have a place to work uh, well I guess you can't have a shop. Now this location specifically I don't know the amount of square footage of the building but I, I believe it's somewhere around 2,000 square feet uh, maybe a little bit less but the lot itself is pretty big, a lot of parking space. And they wanted six, the landlord itself wanted 6,000 or $7,500 a month in rent. Uh, this was just too much. So at the end, we ended up negotiating with the landlord to become part owner of the shop itself. So that way we could do some profit sharing with the condition that he provided the rent. So he pretty much pays for the rent and now we're gonna be splitting the profits. So it turned out to be a quite a good, uh, you know, uh, sort of agreement because we're not having to pay a single dime for using this building. Now, the second thing you need to start a shop is a jack. Now, of course, you don't need this fancy lift right here. These lifts are actually a bit expensive. They do run around $6,000 new. Uh, we had some spare from Tire Marts, our other shops, and so we just decided to grab one. So we didn't have to spend on that side. But I will be showing you guys some jacks or floor jacks that you can use. So I'm going to be showing the videos here on top of this one so you guys can see the floor jacks. Uh, I just don't want to walk all the way back to the shop uh, since I'm already outside. But you could use this for sure. This is just very easy because you lift the car, you know, all four sides pretty quick, much faster than floor jacks. Uh, but again, it's a big investment, especially if you're just starting out. You don't want to spend uh, 6000 or $5,000 into this machine. Now, the third thing I do want to talk about is you will be needing some banners. So we put some Spanish banners and some English banners with our phones. Not the fanciest banners, but we really just want to get this shop up and running. Just make, uh, start making some money and then we can start paying for signs. Uh, we actually got quoted to change this whole sign to saying tire shop in our name. But it was over four thousand dollars and that was just too much for us to do uh we can also you're also going to be needing used tires uh you know this depends on cities but a lot of cities don't like used tires outside but uh we personally you know i have a lot of other partners or people who have smaller shops and uh you know just used tires outside makes the shop look a little more vivid uh kind of resembles that you do tires you know kind of like states the obvious but still gets a lot of people coming in so you can see guys right here we have more tires outside at this place now the next thing or the fifth thing that you're gonna be needing is inventory of course you cannot have a tire shop if you're not gonna have any inventory now I myself come in a background of only selling new tires or I would say maybe 90% of my sales are mainly new tires and this shop is quite different. This shop's actually the contrary. We are selling 90% used tires and we're selling new tires kind of like just for those customers who are willing to pay for it. But uh, the, the advantage of starting with used tires is that, is that used tires are a lot more affordable. They make you more money, ironically enough, 
because the cost of these tires, for example, these are sets, so these are actually matching sets. As you guys can see, these are some Michelin tires and they're all the same. So we bought these, uh, it's kind of expensive, so we're paying $100 uh, for the full set, so it's $25 per tire, but we are selling them around $240, $250 installed. So we're making around $150 per set we sell. That obviously depends on the size and whether we can negotiate a little bit up or if the customer is really good at negotiating, we might just uh, cut down the price, you know, if we're really trying to close down on a sale. But what I'm trying to get there is that if we were to sell a new tire, new tires normally cost a lot more. The margins are a little bit narrower and then we only end up making around $25 per tire to install them which you know it's not as much as how much we would make on the used tires now again another negotiation we did with the used tire inventory we have here over a hundred sets of used tires and i partner up with a, a tire recycler here in las vegas so he put all these tire sets for us for free now it doesn't mean that he's not going to charge us for them but at least he put them here for display for us for free which means that uh, once we sell them we owe him the money so again, I do have another video if you guys want to watch it. I'll be leaving a link here or a picture of uh, when I went to visit his recycling plant. It's, a, it's quite nice and I explain how the whole used tire process works and how these tires are actually recovered from the trash. Uh, but then they're tested and then we make sure that there's no leakage or air leaking or anything like that. Uh, but that's the next thing you guys want to have in a tire shop, right? Inventory. If you're just starting out, used tires can go as low as $5 a piece. If you wanna have some set of, of new tires, which again, I do have some new tires here over there, uh, you know, that you might need at least $5,000 to $6,000 just to have some of the most common popular sizes. Now, the next thing we're gonna be talking about, of course, it's the obvious. If you wanna have a tire shop, you're gonna need tire changers. Now this is something I want you guys to know and learn. I made the biggest mistake of buying pre-owned equipment because we were trying to start this shop with the least amount of money possible. That's why we partnered up with the landlord. We got someone to put the used tires and we got someone to put in the labor and we're all partners and so we all put a little bit of, a little bit of everything uh, but we don't have a cost. But the problem was I paid $1,300 for that tire changer right there and a balancer that I have over here. Uh, again, this, this whole thing was in office, so I apologize, guys. It's uh, not a very good building, but um, I wanna show you guys a balancer. So I paid $1,300. This balancer did not work at all. I was, I, I honestly you know, committed the mistake of not testing the machine right there and there. So when we plugged it in here, it wasn't working. The tire changer worked and then it stopped working for some time. So pretty much when my $1,300 were thrown to waste. Um, and unfortunately, I had to go ahead and reach out to Tire Mart again. Uh, they, luckily for us, they did have some balancing machines that they weren't using and tire changing machines. Now these were used as well, but Tire Mart, I can test myself bought these machines new so I can uh, you know again I was hundred percent sure that they were in working condition you know the problem with buying used equipment is that you really don't know what's the status of the equipment and these are heavy pieces of equipment so you know there's probably don't quote me on this but I want to say it was around 2,000 to 2,500 pounds uh, so they're, they're they're quite heavy so once you put them here you don't want to be moving them too much um, and again, I committed the mistake of buying pre-owned equipment, not testing it on site and bringing it over here to the shop, installing it and find out that it didn't work once we installed it. This was a very big mistake from my end. I really, I, I was rushed and I really trusted on the guy, so I just did it. I did the same thing with the compressor though. Uh, didn't test it, did nothing. Uh, bought it for $400 or 350 when in Home Depot it was like 900 bucks, you know? So we saved around $400 with that strategy. But then again, we lost $1,300. So I guess I would just recommend don't do it. Just buy an equipment that either it's from a friend or a person you can trust that tells you it's working, it's working, or that at least they're gonna be responsible for fixing it if they can't. Now, a bit of uh, how much do these machines cost? The balancing machine, uh, I personally like coats uh, because they're just durable. I, I, again, I'm sure there's other companies out there that do tire changers and balancing machines quite well, but uh, I just have really good experience with coats. 
and I just like how their product is durable and they just get the job done. A tire balancer, you are looking at around uh, probably $6,000 of brand new tire balancer. Uh, if you buy it pre-owned, again, you might be able to get it for less than that. Uh, you can always finance it as well, but again, it's kind of risky if you're just starting out your business You don't know if it's gonna do, be doing very well and then the tire changer again It depends on the model, but you would be looking at somewhere around another six thousand dollars So I did ask about the bundle so the tire changer and the balancer and brand new it would have costed me around twelve thousand dollars with the uh, machinery uh, I guess distributor now you could also buy brand new tire uh, tire changers and balancer combos that are not coats these brands are quite expensive because their reputation is just really well uh, but you could buy you know just brand new tire uh, brand, brand new machines that are not these machines and you could probably get the combo for three thousand dollars i just tell you to be careful because a lot of these tire changers will scratch the wheels because they don't have rubber duck heads which again again you can change them up uh, but then again you won't be able to maybe do very big tires such as 35 by 12 and a half 20s or you may not be able to do certain sizes like 20 inch wheels, 22 inch wheels, 24 inch wheels. But if you're just starting out and you don't have the technician who could do those tires either way, then I guess it doesn't matter. But I guess now that we spoke that you also need a tire changer and a balancer, again, the tire changer for those, I'm kind of making this video a little friendlier. So tire changer is where you change the tires. Um, and then the balancer is just the machine that rotates the tire at high speed so that we could determine if there's some sort of vibration. And then we put some counterweights so that the vibration goes to a uh, minimum, right? So when you're driving at high speeds, you don't feel that annoying shaking. And so that's why this machine is a bit unique and you do need it. Um, the last thing you do need, or not one of the last things, but the next thing you will be needing is an air compressor. This air compressor is a 60 gallon uh, two phase or two stage performance. As long as you have 175 PSI compressor, we're good. I used to work in the mobile tire van and it was a compressor, probably a five gallon compressor. Uh, but as long as you have those 175 PSI, you should be good. Uh, but again, just keep in mind that if you're gonna be going less than 60 gallons, uh, you might be a little short if you're gonna be getting a lot of customers, you know? The last thing you wanna have is a small compressor or have no air when you have a whole bunch of people waiting here uh, you know, the customers and, and your compressors just not giving that enough juice for you to work, take off wheels and all that. Cause this, this compressor will be feeding, uh, you know, through these hoses, they will be feeding your guns, your air guns or impact uh, drill guns or whatever they call them, uh, and your tire changers. There's some tire changers that are, are electric, but they're st they still need air, you know, to inflate tires, to do all that stuff. And then Coats machines, I like them because they're 100% air. They don't need any electricity. As long as you have air pressure, you're good to go with those machines. And then finally, uh, you do need some equipment. Like uh, right here, we have the floor jacks, you know, for when we need them. You do need some, some guns, you know, some sockets. Sockets are extremely important. Sockets is what you will be needing to remove the lug nuts off the car itself. And there's several sizes you know uh, of sockets but you can buy these kits on amazon uh, then you can also buy these lock removal kits so these are kind of important because if there's people who have locks on their cars and they just can't find them uh, you're a tire shop you know so you should be able to remove them and these two uh, lock removal kits again i have some videos when i used to do this when i had the mobile tire van of just visiting people to their home because they couldn't replace a spare because they didn't have a lock. So these tools right here are very, very important. Same thing, they're like probably 30 bucks on eBay uh, or Amazon. And uh, other than that, you might need a buffer machine, you know, so you could buff out the tire and then do some patches or plugs. Uh, well, you need this if you're gonna be doing patches. The plug is more like you need the probe and the plug kit. And sorry guys, it's a bit um, messy here, but. I'll kind of zoom in right there. So that's the probe and the plugs right there. But other than that, I mean, that's all you need to run a shop. You need a compressor, tire balancer, tire changer, air hoses, uh, impact gun, sockets, jacks, uh, location, inventory, and finally, just a little bonus tip, 
you do need a point of sale system, which I'm gonna be talking about that right now. All right guys, so the last thing you will need will be the POS system, which again, I normally use Tire Connect, Tire Guru. And for those of you who know me, actually, I just started building my own POS system called Tire Base. That's gonna be the name. Uh, and again, right now it's still in development and beta, but uh, we kind of already have a, an idea of what it's going to be looking like. You know, I'm, I'm working with my team, so just, you know, excuse this whole interface if it's not that good. But here we're going to be, you know, this is where you can keep track of all your sales, of all your purchases, uh, you know, your, your inventory management and everything pretty much, you know. So right now for this shop that we just opened, I am starting to use this POS system. But that's the, that's the thing that you, you're gonna need. You know, you definitely need a system where you can go ahead and charge your customer, go ahead and keep a record if they ever come back. And then also you do need a card reader um, that works with your POS system. So you can take cards, you can keep everything nice and tidy. Um, you know, especially hopefully this, this POS system that we're building will very soon have the QuickBooks integration, which will then allow us to kind of do some bookkeeping a lot easier and manage our expenses or vendor purchasing and all that stuff and so that is it guys that is all for this video i know it was a little bit longer than i would have liked but i kind of didn't want to leave out some details uh, i am looking for 15 shops to start testing my point of sale system because uh, right now each point of sale system out there and i'm going to be doing a full video explaining this but there's a lot of point of sale systems that cost over 200 dollars a month uh, or you need a very expensive server on site and it's, it's just a bad uh, place to be. I don't like how current POS systems are doing their job. So I need 15 tire shops. I already have five signed up, but uh, the next 10 tire shops, I'm going to be leaving a form right here. If you're a tire shop or you're starting a tire shop or if you're a mobile tire van and you want to test out my point of sale system for free for one year, I'm going to be giving you guys a free license for a full year. Uh, with all the updates that i'm going to be doing and plus not to mention i would be scheduling certain follow-up meet uh you know meetings just to make sure we're getting some sort of feedback on what's working what's not what needs to be improved uh, if you're interested definitely feel free to fill that form once i have all those 10 slots though that form won't work anymore but if you are interested or if you're watching this video down the line and you're interested in the point of sale system i'll try to leave a coupon or my email just reach out to me and i'll make sure to give you a good price if it's already launched but again uh feel free to just uh, contact me comment below let me know what you guys think if you have any questions feel free to follow me on instagram don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys again next time peace